Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here talking about the secret history. Stirring in the bushes? Living in your aquarium. This is an interesting one. I don't know if they're fighting or mating. I'll have to do some research because I've never tried to uh, breed these. But these pandagaras, these two of them are just going at it. And they've been spinning in circles now for five or six minutes. But it seems as though it's not friendly. Um, whether or not it's reproductive or not, it is definitely not friendly. Uh, it's pretty rough. They're scuffing each other's fins up, uh, actually, and smashing each other in the belly. So I don't know if this is a mating thing or not, but I thought I'd capture it on film for you guys uh, just so that you could see it uh, hopefully I'll be able to shed some light on it and I can come back and uh, let you guys know but it's very interesting that it's it, it looks almost like a mounted position which doesn't make any sense for fish and then they go into spinning each other smacking each other either in the gill or in the belly and if it's in the belly that's similar to uh, the T-shape that, that, uh, you know, quarry catfish do, but there's these moments of pausing at the same time, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, there's six of them in here, so as you can see, they're not the only ones, there's more just swimming around, doing their own thing, uh, out and about, but these two in particular have decided that they're going to go at it, but they seem to both be exhibiting the same movements, which is interesting, because usually if you've got a male and a female, you got one trying to get on top, or one headbutt the other one, or whatever, but these two are definitely both just very animated in the in whatever's going on here. If this is a dominance thing versus if this is a mating thing. I'm gonna venture to guess that it's a mating thing, um, but I don't know. It's uh, kind of mesmerizing. I kind of want to break it up at the same time. Um, but one definitely has brighter orange colors. They're definitely starting to scuff each other's scales up. And I'm always kind of uh, in, a, in a limbo, a National Geographic sense limbo of do you intervene and, or do you quote unquote let nature happen? Because I just don't know what the right answer is. When you've, when you've got fish that are hurting each other, um, even if it is for breeding. Sometimes breeding kills fish. Uh, you can see they're smacking each other pretty good. And uh, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. These are pandagaras, by the way, if you didn't know. Sometimes called rainbow garas. And they are very sweet fish, usually. They uh, eat out of your hand. They'll actually eat the dead skin and the oils off your hand as well. And they're uh, from Burma, Myanmar, Thailand. And they're, they're really pretty fish. They get quite big, quite big compared to where they're at now, size-wise. Uh, they get to, you know, four inches, probably. Three and a half, four inches. And... Uh, that's why, um, you know, I would just be surprised if these two that are an inch and a half each are mating rather than sparring or something, but I can't tell the difference between the genders offhand, especially with them moving around so much. So, kind of interesting uh, to watch what they're doing. Uh, I don't want to break it up if they're going to have, you know, create babies or eggs out of this but as you can see there, there's little scales getting nicked off this this is not a it's kind of a funky dance you'd think one would leave if if it wanted to so that's why I'm 
not going to break it up, but they're almost in like a little knot or merry-go-round of movement, so very interesting. Also, their eyes are yellow, so it kind of almost looks like snakes fighting or something. I don't know. It's interesting. See, that, that motion there tends to make me think that it's a uh, mating behavior without having ever seen this before, just because uh, you see that belly nudge going on. But seeing it go on both ways, it's mostly the one with the cream tips on its tail on just the very corners rather than all the way across that is, that is uh, doing that slamming with the head, the lighter silver one. So, I don't understand, but maybe it's not my place to understand these little funky fish, funky fresh fish. So, I guess I'll let them be, and I just wanted to share that kind of interesting, I've not seen fish do this uh, pattern or this activity ever. So it, it, this is just kind of new to me to watch. There's some mounting, there's some side to side, there's this headbutt of the tail slash um, there, you know, where the eggs are stored. And then there's also this. There's cleaning of each other where they're just nicely cleaning each other. But then there's quite rigorous slams like that are wound up and twisting into each other that'll take a scale off. So, I, I don't know. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. Alright guys, I'll, I'll talk to you later, hopefully with some more info on this. Please feel free to comment if you know what's going on, because I sure don't. Alright, <laughs> bye. Oh, and now the Cory Cat's just gonna just panda cats just gonna cruise by all right guys take it easy feel free to subscribe like and uh leave a comment if you know what in the heck they are doing he's starting to strip some serious scales off of the back of that one there all right guys bye